Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 13 on Tricentis Tosca automation tool concepts. So I'm receiving a lot of requests from my subscribers to post more videos on Tosca tool. So that's why I'm preparing a lot of sessions frequently and then I'm uploading all these sessions on different concepts of task automation tool to the YouTube channel for you guys. Hope you all enjoying the sessions. Uh, in this session, I'm going to concentrate on business parameters. Okay, so before I walk you through the real time example uh, by using task or tool, uh, to explain how to use business parameters. I would like to cover some theoretical topic on business parameter so that you will understand uh, clearly. So business parameter, what do you mean by business parameter? So this allow the user basically allows the use of reusable test blocks even when the test steps contains values that need to be changed in different test cases. So if you see my previous videos, right, I have covered one topic called uh, reusable test step blocks, right? So where we are identifying the reusable test step blocks and then we are creating a library, right? Under library folder, we are actually mapping these reusable test step blocks so that you can use these reusable test test blocks in many test cases, right? So while using these reusable test step blocks, blocks in different test cases, right? So there might be a requirement where you would like to use a different test step values for different test cases. So when you are calling, basically when you are invoking one reusable test step block, to multiple test cases but you don't want to use the same test step values then the business parameter comes into picture okay so this basically allow the use of reusable test step blocks even when the test step contains values that need to be changed in different test cases okay and how to use business parameter Basically, we are going to create a business parameter on the reusable test step block. Remember this, we are not going to create the business parameter for the test cases which are not reusable. We are going to create business parameters only on reusable test step blocks itself. Okay, and then name each parameter. We are going to define each parameter that we would like to use in multiple test cases or in different test cases. Okay, and then create a reference to the reusable test step block within a test case. And then enter the values for each parameter in each use of test step block. That means you are going to enter the parameter that is required for a particular test case and then you can change the parameter value in different test case and then you can change parameter value something else in your third test case so that way you can basically change these parameter values for different test cases you need not to use the same test of value by using these reusable test step blocks so you will understand clearly when I walk you through the actual example with the task or tool. Okay, so object two of this session, by end of this exercise, you will be able to create a business parameters in the library folder to use in test cases. And why is this important? The business parameters enhance reusable test step blocks to allow the creation of reusable test step blocks from test steps even when the test step contains values that need to be changed in different test cases okay so now uh, let me walk you through the uh, actual tasca tool uh, with an example so that you will be able to understand very clearly so this is our uh, tasca tool 
okay so in my previous session i have clearly explained you uh, about the creation of the reusable test step blocks and then how can we use these reusable test step blocks in multiple test cases right so in the previous session i showed you if you see here we have created basically by clicking on any test case folder and then why by selecting library create test step library so we have created this library folder under this library folder we have identified the test steps that can be reused again and again in multiple test cases correct so if you remember precondition and then start checkout and then ordering the product post condition right these are all the steps that we identified as a reusable test step blocks and then we have used these test step blocks in multiple test cases right in session 11 in uh, session 11 if you can refer the session 11 i have showed that this precondition order product checkout confirmation verification prices and post condition all these reusable test step blocks we have reused as it is in this uh, new test case but we have created start checkout and verification prices as a new test step and rest of the steps we have reused the reused from the reusable test step blocks correct in the same way in the session 12 in session 12 we have automated some other scenario so while automating that coupon code validation right so during that session also what i showed you we have again reused these test step blocks while building while automating this test case if you see here all the arrow marks these are all the reusable test step blocks we have used as it is in this test case automation and then we created we recreated only two test step blocks which are not reusable right so you can refer to the session 12 and session 11 so that uh, you will be able to understand okay so but one disadvantage here is so when i am when i am let's assume precondition so this is my precondition where i am entering url i am entering email and password so when i reuse this test step block okay when i reuse this when i drag and drop this test step block to a new test case then what happens i have to use the same url same email same password in this test case as well correct because we are just reusing the step but let's assume i want to create another test case right with the same test case i want to execute with invalid username and password how can you do that i cannot reuse this precondition as this reusable test step block called precondition as it is because i cannot change these email and password because i am reusing the same test step blocks correct but i want to use this reusable test step block in another test case but i don't want to use this url i don't want to use this email i don't want to dis use this password i want to change this username and password to validate an invalid username and password scenario so what we'll do in that case so in that case now this business parameter comes into picture okay how can we use this business parameter so if you go to the library okay in the library if you want to define a business parameter you have to define the business parameter under a test step block only okay so let's assume in precondition i would like to create a business parameter for this url email id and password so that i can use this reusable test step block in different test cases with different email and passwords correct so for that what we need to do you have to click on this reusable test step block folder 
right click on this and then you have to create a business parameter container so once you click on that container now you have to define the parameters so the p represents it's a parameter container p with closed brackets all right and then to create a parameter under business parameter container you have to again right click and now you have to click on create parameter so now let me create parameter called url and again let me create another parameter right click and select create parameter email is another parameter and i want to create another parameter called password okay so this is password okay now we have created a business parameter container and we have created business parameters under a reusable test step block called precondition only one test step block basically you have to define these parameters for every a reusable test step block where you would like to use different values in different test cases okay so now so here now all you need to do is now you have to map these reusable basically these business parameters to the test step value so for that i would like to remove this test step value from here okay and then just drag this business parameter to that particular test step corresponding test step value okay then what happens it is going to create a pl link okay parameter link okay for the url it created pl link correct and now you can drag and drop this email to the corresponding test step value so before that i want to clear this test step value correct so just drag and drop in email in the same way password also you have to drag and drop into password okay so this way you can create a business parameters and then you will be mapping those business parameters to the corresponding test step value what happens as soon as you map those parameters business parameters to the test step value it is going to create a pl link for those test steps okay so now done so let's say now let me create a new test case here okay so basically i want to copy this uh, the previous session test case as it is and then paste it here in test case 3 and then this rename this as rename this as 13 business parameter okay so once i rename that so if you see here if you see here the precondition is referencing from my reusable test step block correct if you go to the precondition now what happens the rest of the steps you don't find here you can see only business parameters because i have already defined the business parameters for the precondition so what are all the business parameters i would like to use here i would like to use a business parameter called url so now let's say the url for this business parameter will be same correct so let me go to the uh, url of uh, web shop so my demo web shop url remains same correct copy this demo web shop url and paste it here and then email id so i would like to use email id as this one and then my password i would like to define my password as 2021 so if you see when i am using the, when i am using this precondition in this test case i am defining email and password as this let's assume if i want to create another para, another test case now what i can do just copy this and then paste it here it 
named it as underscore okay so here if i would like to change the username instead of ravikant at outlook.com probably i would like to use this as uh, tasca at the rate gmail.com i can do that so that means when you are calling this precondition this reusable test block in different test cases you need not to use the same test step value basically there is a provision to change your test step value so that it executes multiple scenarios with different test data set correct so now if you see here i'm going to run this as it is now okay and see if it is going to take the business parameters as a url as an email as a password whatever we pass the whatever the business parameters we defined and then pass the values in the first test case let's see it is going to take those values okay just right click and click on run in scratch book so if you see here now it is opening a uh, internet explorer and then it is going to click on login see it entered username password and then same scenario whatever we executed in uh, session 12 it is executing the same scenario but only difference is i'm passing login and password from the business parameters correct so now let's wait until this run is complete okay so if you see the results all the results will be passed right okay so if you see all the results are passed i mean close browser is did not pass because of the uh, multiple browsers okay guys leave that okay but however login has been passed correct it is able to enter the email id it is able to enter the password whatever the required password correct and now if i execute this the second uh, test case where i am passing some invalid email id and then invalid password right it should take the new values as a test step values for this particular scenario let me run this now it should fail right run in scratch book now the new business parameter values should be implemented in this run so if you see it is going to enter the login see wrong wrong num it actually entered the wrong username and password okay so let me cancel that so basically what happened it entered the wrong username and password whatever we supplied as part of the second scenario so this way what you can do is you can use the reusable test blocks in multiple test cases with different test step values basically the test data whatever you are passing to run the test case can be changed whenever you reuse the reusable test step blocks hope you all understand the concept of business parameter if you have any questions you can leave comments in the comment box so that i can uh, reply to your queries please subscribe to the channel click on bell icon so that you will receive notifications whenever i publish more and more videos on tasca automation tool concepts thank you